Hey, girl. Hey, uh, yes. Hey. Wow, Joanne Worley joining the call. <laughs> girl, no. So we we uh, as I was saying before, I decided to start this. We um we went to Korean barbecue this weekend. Mm. Is is that a thing? Have you ever gone to Korean barbecue? Oh yeah, many times. I didn't know what well, you see, and I was like, as I was eating all this different food, I was like. This is good for the gluten. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 We're very, uh, we have a lot of, considering that we do not have a huge Asian population, we have a lot of Asian, like different types of Asian restaurants down here. It, it's trendy, right? Uh, Korean, Korean barbecue, Japanese, izakayas are trendy right now. So that's, mm -hmm. that's sort of why they're everywhere. We are, we have, Soul Grill has been there a while and they are. Yeah good like oh god with the little jap really, mm -hmm. right down the street from our house they have a really good hot pot place um it's so delicious i could get either every day because you know how i love soup yeah um, yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, there we have a hot pot place directly across the street from my house yes uh, yes girl yes yes look i have i have an asian grocery store right there and a hot pot place right there it is Oh, let me just tell you. And girl, part of the reason I ask about your husband and like the Chinese thing, it's it's mid-autumn festival, right? So yeah. we, I bought some mooncakes the other day. Um, and I was like, oh, I wonder if. And the answer is no. He's, he's, so now let me say though, like some of his family in Hawaii is a little bit more just because they're surrounded by the culture more. Mm -hmm. But like, where he grew up, it's just, you know, it's very detached. So they just didn't do a lot. I mean, they did a few things, but not as intensely see, as see they that's could've. that's always that's very interesting because I I feel very attached by German heritage, right? Because mm -hmm. my grandmother's German. Mm -hmm. Like but it, it just it feels it it feels like it's part of me. And I was always interested to learn about that no matter what. Like it it always sort of interests me. I think for him, well, I can say I mean, I'm not gonna speak for him, but I think because of where they grew up, he really distanced himself mm. a lot of times because it was just it was too painful. I mean, he grew up in a his his racism stories are much worse than my racism stories. Like the Kentucky racism against his Asian background, which was is odd, much which is odd because around here the racism is that they're that they're white right like that's that's the that's the white white but a little just a little white adjacent white adjacent yeah that's that's the yeah but he i mean like at like but horror mostly, stories i get i guess it's because as sarah silverman said that they aren't threats like that is right. the that is well, our we, racism one of the things I think it was, I mean, not to explain people's racism, but is when you think about, because he's a little bit older than us, right? So he is in the generation that was born from the veterans coming back from Vietnam. And, you know, back then they didn't care what kind of Asian you were, right? Like they were going to, so I, I, and think about where he's from, right? Rural Kentucky. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure a lot of people got drafted from that area. So I do think that there is a lot of those things tied together because they didn't really care what kind of Asian he was. Like it didn't matter. So, girl, speaking mm -hmm. of, speaking of things that may or may not be a racism, mm -hmm. my friend, my coworker went to another coworker's party this weekend. Oh no! Um, she's white. She's married to a black man. Um, the theme was seventies. She was wearing a daishiki mumu. Okay. I was like. That sounds like a racism. Wait, you said she's white? Uh-huh. Okay. He said she looked like she was trying out for a part in Alex Haley's roots. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I mean, it's not... This wouldn't be technically like because back then, like white women did wear stuff like that. I mean, girl, it's not back then anymore. No, no, I know, but the theme was seventies. So I mean, 
like I said, I'm giving like a slight benefit of the Girl, doubt. If the theme is 20s, I'm not going in blackface. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> coming to the coming to the microphone. It's Mimsy Jolson, everybody. Mimsy Jolson. <laughs> <laughs> Just call Fresh me for a tour. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no comment on uh, that statement. I have not watched this week's uh drag race global versus the universe. Mm -hmm. Um I, I will say this is the one of the most boring drag races I've watched. Yes. Everybody was so excited and it turned out to be so boring. It's like I I'm I, the one I want to win is still there. Thankful. Well, I mean, don't know about this week, but at least she she was there last Who is week. Who's it? Who's Pithia. Okay. Yeah. Uh um the one I don't want to win is still there. Queen Kong. I just don't like her. I, th I thought it was the other one you didn't like. Which one? Uh, Vic, Venom, Vixen. I can't remember her name. The one from Sweden. Oh, uh, the, the I don't like I don't like her Vivian Vane or whatever v Vixen yeah, Vane. Whatever her name is. I don't, I don't particularly know. care for her either. Um, uh, the ones I like are Pythia. Is that it? Um. Uh, Oh no, Kitty Scott Claus. Kitty Scott Claus. I like Kitty. I like Kitty. There's been a lot of like, I mean, in like the online world, a lot of like talk about her. Um, the people have been really disappointed with her this season. Yeah, like compared compared to what she was in Drag Race UK, her she's not as good. I think what I mean, do you think she's just toning herself down because she's just trying to be like more palatable to like a universal audience that Baga didn't well Baga didn't but Baga's not on all Vivian didn't all stars yeah, that's true I mean like yeah Cheryl, but like, think about Cheryl just didn't like wh why why would you do that I'm just I'm just saying I'm not saying it's right I'm just you know I've been trying to figure that out too like what's what's been her deal because she maybe was it's so long more... COVID speaking of long COVID girl did you know that we have a Patreon. Dear listeners, if you go to patreon.com, Mim's a Mame. You can throw some money. Mame, Mame, is, Mame is shocked that I said long COVID. I've got a little long COVID right now. Do you? Not, nothing major. I just, I, I finally had a solid shit for the first time in three weeks yesterday. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I was like, there, I, it, it was, it's feast or famine for a little bit. And it's been mostly feast and it has not been, it's not been pleasant, girl. Wow. I don't really? know. Don't know if it's on COVID. I don't know if it's Paxlovid. I don't know if it's a combination of the two, but it has been a journey. Girl, I'm sorry. I did it's, not it's okay. That. It's okay. It's okay. It's been like an entire season of Glee, a journey. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh God, did you ever like Glee? No. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Did you know that we have another podcast? What? That's right. We have you slay me or murder she wrote podcast. Hey, Mame. Yes. Did you know that we're going to resurrect some podcasts? That's right, Mame. That's right. That's right. Starting this week, on we are I, I, blah, 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 over the moon, and we object are coming back, Mame. They're coming Yay. back. And if you're a patron, if you're a patron, you'll be able to see us in video. There. Isn't that exciting? Yes. I think so. Hey, Mame. Yes. Do you know we have merchandise? Mimsmame.com. No. Oh, okay. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Mame. Mame. Yeah. Do, you, do, you know yeah. I, do you know what I love? Do you know what I j'adore? J'adore. You just j'adore a five-star review. That's right, Mame. Just like, uh, God, I was going to say. Charlize Scar Theron. Char 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 Charlize Theron. Yeah, I was going to say Theron. Scarlett Johansson. I'm like, no, that's not right. Um, oh, Charlize gosh. Theron. Just wandering down with that one. Oh God, I love that commercial. Anyway, yeah, yes, five commercial. star view. They're great. The this is season six, episode three. A toe in the water. Oh.
I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. And that's Marjorie. Just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night. The light went out in Georgia. The light went out. 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 And that is the night. The light went out in Georgia. Well, now you do. I do not like the new Katy Perry commercial, though. Um, I mean, do you like anything with Katy Perry right now? I like her old stuff. I mean, anything current. Do you know why? Do you know the real reason the current stuff's bad? Like the the real, real, real reason? I can't wait to hear. She's working with Dr. Luke. Again. Is it? I mean, I don't know. So it's odd. I didn't actually know that much about. I know about Doctor Luke at all. Yeah, like yeah. Controversy, but like musically, I've never understood. Like, I don't know. Like, who are the artists he normally works with? I mean, I um, know Kesha, obviously, but Kesha and the fur like any one of Katy Perry's hits are Doctor yeah. Luke. Like, okay, he has worked with everybody. Gotcha. The, for 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 the for the one chord pop music, right? Like the. He's got his shtick. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, but that's why it's really just kind of like meh. Yeah. I mean, but like Roar, Dr. Luke. It's funny because I was I've not ever been a huge so, Katy Perry. So you fan. never felt like a plastic bag? Paper bag? Okay. You know, plastic that bag. Was, it, when that when that song came out. And it blew up the way it did. I literally looked around at everybody like, have y'all lost your mind? Oh, I love this that song. This is terrible. I love that song. But girl, you know, a plastic bag is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Okay. You know, rewatch, thinking about that movie, because I haven't rewatched it, because that would be a lot taken out of me, like, and I'd have to watch all. Kevin Spacey again. Mm-mm. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't think I liked it then. Um, <laughs> I thought that, I remember how I felt about it then. It wasn't that I liked it, but I was like, oh, it's got some interesting ideas to it. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't think it was good, but I did think I thought his performance was good back then. I mean, I remember it really was the best of what whatever else was out that that season. OK, but... I, I'd like to I'd like to read something to you mm-hmm. here. Are the Here are the uh, uh, artists that uh, Dr. Luke has worked with. Oh, yeah. Katy Perry, Maroon 5, Rihanna, Doja Cat, Miley Cyrus, Juice World, Pink, Pitbull, Kelly Clarkson, Flo Rida, Britney Spears, Kesha, Tao Cruz, and Jesse J are the big Probably ones. Everybody. Everybody. But he's everybody. terrible, right? He, so what did he do to Kesha? He like, did he sexually assault her? Sexually assaulted her and then went and released her originals. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Um, which is why this 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 album is such a big deal. This is the first one that she's completely libera- liberated from it all. Wow. So so she she was allowed to produce Rainbow um under a court agreement. Um, but this is the first one that she's actually like completely liberated from him. Okay. And let me just tell you, I saw her, I've seen Kesha twice. Um I saw her when she came through, like after TikTok and all that, and then mm-hmm. I saw her on her Rainbow tour. Two completely different caches. Still great, like still, but she seemed to have her shit together on the second one. She was just crazy on the first one. Is the? I mean, I thought she was kind of crazy on the first one, wasn't she? Like a little bit. Yeah, she was. She was, but there was still glitter like flying everywhere at the second one. Like it was, it was still. She still did TikTok and all the songs. Cause she, <laughs> she, cause she retained, she got the rights to them. So she sang them, but like, it, it was still glitter, still like loud and fun, but not her. I believe she came in on a tricycle and was dry humping the tricycle or like a electric car or something. It was very different. Anyway, we're at sugar bakers.
Sugar makers. <laughs> After 14 damn minutes, dear listeners, we're finally starting the episode. But as 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 Maine would say, this is a straightforward episode. They go fast when they're like this. They go fast when they're trash. Well, Allison's here. And she went to the therapist. And she's going on, named Matthew. She finally found mm-hmm. one. And she's going on and on and on and on about how she loves her therapist. And therapist should, you know, she's got so much to tell everybody and so much advice to give everybody. And Mary Jo's just sitting there listening to her sportsman. Yes. I knew it was a sportsman because it was bright yellow with the That's gray. Right. I had two of those. They were trash. They were. <laughs> Like like the the cheap the cheap Walkmans were much much better. Like the Magnavox Walkman, I can attest. Yes. Yeah, like like the that they I don't know what like the the Sportsman were supposed to like be able to take jumping and water and, and jumping all. shock water like light water like little things like sweat. You know, yeah, you're yeah. supposed to be able to wear it in sweat, but uh, uh, no, no, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Well, Carlene, Carlene, um, apparently that room that I always thought went to the back room actually goes to a bathroom. And Carlene is like, no, no, don't go in there to uh, Allison because her cat's in there. And what what she's read is how to train a cat to uh, use the toilet is you slowly... Put put magazines up, and you you move the litter box closer. You put the litter box on top of the toilet, then you move the litter box cow use toilet. Um, or you could do what my old Ukrainian coworker did, which was look at her cat and say, "Are we a lady, or are we a piece of trash?" And the cat just started using the toilet, according to her. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty magnificent <laughs> i was like are you serious and then she gave me the she's russian ukrainian so she has the fear she could put the fear of god in somebody just by looking at them and yes. she gave me that look and i was like okay i believe you <laughs> gotta go step away slowly i'm gonna go yeah she's oh. also one that that uh was in kiev during chernobyl wow yeah yeah, she was telling stories of how they had water, like water stations every block because the heat was so intense in the city that you would become dehydrated, like by the next block. They had to give them iodine pills and stuff to protect their thyroid. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. My my other co-worker, my other current co-worker um, is from Belarus and he was saying that uh, they had to leave their hometown because the radiation was still spreading north. And so he had to leave his hometown because the radiation was going to take over their town. Mm-hmm. It's amazing the things people have been through in their lives. Mm-hmm. He's young. He's, he's 22, 23, 24. Wow. Mm-hmm. 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 Check. So Anthony's here. And we find out that Allison had locked him in the basement. And he's like, apparently you didn't hear me say, let me out of here, bitch. <laughs> Linda Bloodworth Thompson is taking a turn in this episode. I, I was like, I paused for him. I'm like, I said, wait, what's happening right now? And Anthony has a get out affidavit. He ta- He's going to law school. We learned this, by Anthony. He's going to law school because mm-hmm. just like uh, Star Jones, he's a lawyer. He's a lawyer, honey. And he got oh, his yeah. uh, teachers to give him an affidavit to uh, kick her out. And basically he says, well, you could either leave or become my servant. Just like, what? <laughs> so Allison says that that, w- that the therapist um, has diagnosed Anthony and that basically... His masculinity is tied to Suzanne's house. And if she kicks him out, it would be like a physical castration. Once again, Linda, girl. 
And he basically looks at her and said, the problem is you're obnoxious. And she's like, yes, that's what my shrink diagnosed me with. I have obnoxious personality disorder. Just like everybody we went to high school with, girl. Hell, you went to college with some of them, too. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> and sneeze. Is that right? Is that right yeah. now? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I guess he's again. Oh, that time you actually did sneeze. Yes, that time it was real sneeze. That time My was fake real sneeze, sneeze caused a real sneeze. <laughs> So Allison, now that she's diagnosed, she's like, this is not my problem at y'all's, um, which is truly the way of white people in the 80s, um, go to a therapist that, you know, with a medical degree and, no, oh, I no longer have a problem. It's your problem. You're your the problem. reason I'm like this. Everybody else around me. Uh-huh. I mean, it's true. You are the reason I'm like this, man. Don't put that on me. You can do. You can blame a lot of stuff on me. Don't put that on me. Don't do that. Oh, God. So that we find out Allison's been talking to every, uh, talking to her therapist about everybody, uh, everybody else's problems, such, mm-hmm. such as Julia's. Um, Julia What's walks. Julia's in, problem. Well, Julia's walking in as she's saying this, and she's like, well, "What is my problem?" And it's like, "Well, you you've lost your husband. Now you've lost your boyfriend of a long time." Um, who he left to go to Evening Shade, a much better show at this time. Um, higher ratings, definitely higher ratings. Um, and you have not gotten over that because he's getting better ratings than you now. So because of that, you're scared to date because you're afraid they're just going to leave you for higher ratings as well. Wow. <laughs> It's not quite what what the person said. Same gist. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> uh, so no, it's about death, and you know, you, you you're afraid things are gonna get lost. You're not ready. You're still grieving, and you know you're just not ready to go out there. But we think that you it's time for you to go out there, right? Mm-hmm. Um. So we find out Julia's going on a date. I'm sorry, what? She's going on a date with Mark. <sighs> Who's Mark? I don't know. I don't know. I th- I, you know, when you said it like that, I was thinking back to Rent. Mark, Mark, Mark! God. God. Did you like Rent? It was all right. Okay. It served a purpose. I didn't, I didn't hate it. It was all right. Did, did, did you... Did you were you one of those people who knew all the words to rent? Oh, see, I know all the words to it. All the words. No. Yeah. I need to cry. I just think about things that Bro, have I never to do with musicals. No, I'm just saying people love a rent because it makes them emotional. Not you, girl, because that will require having emotion. Well, I will. I mean i did i would cry watching the movie version because it is listening to rosario dawson try to hit any kind of note why why did they do that j-lo is right there i guess her as a meth addict is not believable with that ass but j-lo is right there i mean just put amy adams in it like so, was, was she even around at that point? I don't know. I'm sure she was doing something. Have you ever watched the the adorable movie with her and what's her doodle? Um God, what is her name? I don't know. She's been in lots of movies with lots of what's her doodles. Um so. Francis McDormand. Amy Adams and Francis McDormand. Uh-huh. It is called, oh, Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day. Oh, yeah. It's adorable. It is adorable yeah, little feel-good really movie. movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Dear listeners, if you're looking for a little cute feel-good movie. Low uh, stakes. Lo- very low stakes. You get to watch Francis McDormand and uh, Amy Adams just having a good time together. Yeah. yeah it's, it's very cute. 
I will agree. That is a cute movie. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. See, I do. See, the thing is, you say I don't have emotion, but I'm sappier than you. Like, I, I love a sappy movie. You and are I will sappier cry. than me. I will cry at a sappy movie. But that's probably because those are the things that get you to emote. Did... As opposed to me who emotes all the time. <laughs> When you emote constantly and the stupidest things can just make you start crying, then sappy things that are supposed to induce crying don't have quite the same effect on you. I can't explain that part to you. I'm just saying, like, I mean, you just send me the right kind of dog video and I'm going to start bawling, right? Like, what was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday the dog that was like the it wakes up its wakes up its sibling because the sibling is deaf. So it goes and wakes up the sibling when the parents come home because, you know, he, he can't hear that the parents are there. So the dog just goes over and he looks up. He's like, oh, was, that was it. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Dear listeners, she's starting to tear up a little right I now, am, even describing like, literally, it. I am just describing it. It was just like, holy crap. And I, I would probably go, oh, that's very cute. Very, right. very. I probably, it depends. Now, it, it, if, if, the, if the dog is very old and. You know, well, he's just deaf, so he just he doesn't know what's going on. He's just, you know, how how, how did that the episode of Futurama with the dog? <laughs> Ooh, girl, don't, don't, because I let's know, not I, even. I, I, I know not how even the, I know how that hit. I know how that hit me. So I can only imagine you're making me cry <laughs> just say How like much? the things that i was i was holding back you just like opened the door just now i can just only imagine that. just how Look much that, that think about that little old dog slit oh my god Ooh. so it's a little bit later on <laughs> allison's very upset about being evicted as one should be uh, and you know carlene's trying to help and we find out that she can't get in touch with her in touch with her lawyer, so she's called nine nine nine. I'll sue you or something like that. <laughs> yeah, never. Well, Joy is here with Mark's mullet. Yes, yes, girl. Speaking of Marks, yes. Look, did you? And I know you used to work in Greensboro. Yes. And I, I know that in your in your in your lovely gas station you used to work at, the strippers did sometimes come in. I love them so much. Yes. Did our current lieutenant governor Mark Robinson ever come in? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, that's so funny you would say that. I don't think so. I think every time the girls came in, usually with the limo, I don't recall them ever having an African American John before so i don't i don't think he i don't think he liked the prostitutes i think he liked the porn so and we didn't have any porn stuff yeah, out where yeah. we were at like and that, was, that and he this was like a decade ago so this was that was a little bit after your time right yeah i know i saw the story i i know where he was going because i know the side of town that was like the senior part of greensboro so i know that area that he was probably frequenting because they also had like one of those like 30 minute hotels there too and things girl, like that girl just throwing this out there if you ever google it there there's a uh the porn shop owner so he did you know this part of it have you heard this part i don't, so, think, so, I don't hear as much as you do so the porn shop owner um used to make bootleg porns for people okay okay Mark Robinson was one of them, allegedly. What a lovely, what a allegedly. lovely service that was. So wow. he, he charged twenty dollars for them. Okay. Allegedly, Mark Robinson would come in with pizza and stuff, you know, before he went to the back room to watch the like he he would pay with pizza or other things, sometimes it was actual money. He never paid for the last one, allegedly. So there's now the the owner of the porn store made a hard rock video called Mark Robinson owes me twenty dollars or something like that. I highly suggest you please watch find it. it. Please find it and send it to me. Please, please, please. Because that sounds so Greensboro. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I was trying to talk to somebody about that the other day. I was like, I said, you know how how we kind of talk about Miami and, and Fort Lauderdale, like it's kind of its own little world in this state. It's like that's what Greensboro's like. <laughs> 
like, yeah. like it's it's its own thing. <laughs> yeah, that I'm, like, hold on, Hard Rock. Let's see. There's here. not really a lot of other places in the state that are quite as unusual as that place is. So, oh man. Yeah, that I'll, I'll have to find it. That that one's gonna that one's gonna take a bit because it's. Is he still not dropping out? No, no, girl. He so it's it's he had until Thursday, like two days ago, to drop out and remove his name from the actual ballot. Even oh, if he, like there was a it was a cutoff that was soon. Oh yes. wow! So he can still drop out, but his name stays on the ballot. But the problem is, if he drops out, the Republicans would have to pick somebody to replace him. But it can't be anybody that contested him in the election. Oh. Um. So the the two the two candidates who contest him in the election are the two that are the most likely to win governorship. Right. Like that they are. Mm-hmm high-ranking officials who have been in the government forever. So it would be very, very difficult for that to happen. Yeah. Oh, how sad. I know, isn't it? Isn't it? The, he reminds me of some people that we grew up with. I already know who you talk about. <laughs> I was thinking it was your own minister. Um <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> I forgot there was an old, old one and an old one. Yeah, both both no. the old, old and the old one. No, hammer. And the old, and both their sons. Jesus Christ, this world. <laughs> well, yeah, I said a word, Hannah. You Joy word is here now. with Mark and his mullet. And she got a new suit or new dress for the uh, yes. I think she says suit. And it's persimmon. And Mark is like, no, it's more of a pomegranate. And the there was other dress. It was just did not work on. It had a little peplum and da 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 da. Um so Mark leaves, and Allison's like, Will you prove my point? And Julie's like, What what are you talking about? He's safe. He's the gayest man I've ever seen in my life. Not there's anything wrong with that, Mary Sideville. Not there's anything wrong with that. But he's gay. So, so, and I Allison, feel like Linda Blood, Linda Bloodworth Thompson just uh, single handedly invented metrosexuals. Yes. And he, just like Jojo Siwa invented gay rock. Yes, Jojo, gay pop. Gay pop, gay pop, gay pop, gay pop, gay pop. Gay pop, gay pop, gay pop. Gay pop. She came up on my feed yesterday, and um, what a strange young woman. So, Allison's basically like, well, you want to date a gay guy because you're afraid of your own sexuality and getting older, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I really want to change change the subject right now and Carlene's like has anyone watched ron reagan's jr's new show i remember that I so not, distinctly i do not remember it i i remember uh bill clinton's brother's thing no 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 uh ron reagan jr's show came on uh cnbc it was late night on cnbc weeknights okay it was like a it was a talk show so yeah and it was very controversial because you know he's liberal and um yeah it was like it was like oh so not a lot of people knew that prior to him having that talk show so we're at marks now um it's a very very nice nice, very nice very fancy apartment um they're coming in and like he said i'm gonna go get some wine probably some white wine spritzers Mm -hmm. Mm. Could you put some CDs on? And she's like, sure. There's Judy Garland and Lena Horn and Madonna and Ethel Merman. That's all you had to say. I would have been like, I would have just bent over the couch immediately. <laughs> so so Ethel, you would have bent over the couch immediately. Just, just like, ah! <laughs> so... <laughs> Everything's coming up roses for me and for you. <laughs> you. <laughs> um, God. Uh, so, so he, 
she's like, isn't she dead? And he's like, no, and she's still alive. I just saw her not too long. Blah, 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 blah. Key West. <laughs> Key West. That's right. He went down to Key West, which is not as gay as it used to be. No, no. It, it used, used to be, to be real, real gay. gay. Real, real gay. Like, I mean, they still drop the drag queen in the shoe, but it's not the same. Every year, every year. What was her name? Sukiara or something like that. I don't the, know. Yeah. You know what I miss? What? I miss what's his doodle on CNN going Ooh. down to what what's the black one that got fired from CNN? What's his name? Don Lemon. Don Lemon going down to New Orleans getting shit faced. Saying, you know, the last year, I've never been drunk on TV. Lies and deceit. He and that woman got shit-faced and would just like. It was so good. And then that one year he got shit-faced with his mama during COVID. It was so good. It was so good. It was good, but also he has an alcohol problem. <laughs> well, just that one night. Yes. And then the following year, the following year, and so on and so forth. Well. So Julia and he, Julia and Mark sit down and Julia's like, can I ask you a personal question? Why have you never? And then Mark's mother's calls. And he's got to go answer it real fast. Well, Mark comes back. It was just a quick little thing. And Mark puts the moves on Julia. Like hardcore. Hardcore. And Julia's backing away. And it's like, I thought you were gay. He's like, no, I'm not gay are you sure and julia just says i'm sorry i'm sorry and leaves sad times sad, sad times, times. sad widow. times girl sad times poor, great oldies poor little widow well girl we are sad at times great oldies. sad times great oldies girl we we are at suzanne's now Mm, Kamala, I don't need another text message right now. No, Kamala, so, girl, leave us alone. We we gave you some. We we did what we need to give us. Let's leave us. Leave us yeah, be. Yeah. Um. We know, Eli, we know Eli's giving a lot of money on the other side, but girl, leave us be. So we're at Suzanne's, and Anthony's in a bubble bath with a cigar and a little uh, cap, and bubble Allison bath. is his servant, right? Like yes. she's doing everything. That was the agreement. That was. And then all of a sudden she starts crying because she's so stressed. And it's like, D does this not mean anything to you? And he's like, no. And she just like stops immediately. Well, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is, is what you call white woman tears. Mm -hmm. Well, Mary Jo and Carlene are here because they were told that they would have be able to have brunch. And there's a privacy screen that. Carlene or that uh Allison puts between the ladies and Anthony that and she was like well Allison Allison's supposed to make us brunch and Mary Jo wants some eggs Benedict and uh Carlene just wants <laughs> so a bowl weird. of Captain Crunch um girl. yeah I don't like Captain Crunch that's my favorite cereal I don't you well okay so for sugary cereals which there's S sugary cereal non sugary cereal right well i don't really eat cereals but like in cereals like that's my, my my favorite my favorite sugary cereal is corn pops without the the milk oh just eating it just eating it just like eating a corn pop is delicious i don't even know if they still make corn pops um i don't know either but like non non sugary cereal <sighs> probably some like raisin brands even kind of sugary um, i like apple apple cinnamon cheerios and can't do apple cinnamon um probably just plain cheerios actually okay yeah j plain cheerios corn flakes are good i don't mind wheat bran like I, I don't i don't mind i don't mind the oh no it's crispix it's crispix Crispix. The 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 the, the, the the two side octagon, one side's rice, one side's wheat. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rice checks are also, about those. Rice checks are also really good too. I like using rice checks in my um check checks mix yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, this is taking a turn. Let's keep going. 
Uh, <laughs> we must. I think we're hungry. Probably, probably, and we're trying to. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. I just think I'm hungry. So... <laughs> well, girl, have you not eaten today? I had some. Um, I had a, a South African meat pie earlier. Ooh, what was his name? Chicken curry. And why didn't you take me to South Africa for a meat pie while I was down there? Well, we can go next time. I would just, I just happened to be on that side of town the other week, so I just bought a bunch of frozen ones. Okay. Now, the the only place, the, the one place I want to go back to is is that that one, the 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 Cuban place that we went to. That place. Because you said their soup's good, right? Yes. Then, then we, I, I will get myself. That's a, what I used to get when I was sick. Always, I'll get myself a soup and a sandwich, and then we'll we'll go someplace for a sweet treat afterwards. And an empanada. Oh, probably. Yeah. Oh God. Because their empanada is really good. Girl, that the empanadas at the hopefully that little coffee shop still there near the hotel with the little gay man. Get my americano and empanada at seven o'clock in the morning before your ass wakes up. Seven o'clock in the morning. Look, I, do you know what time I wake up every day for work? No. Six thirty. That sounds like hell. Six fifteen, actually. Six fifteen. That sounds even worse. I know. It's 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 my natural wake up time's now about seven thirty in the morning if I just let myself sleep. My husband is the same way and I don't understand. Well, I mean yours has moved back. Some like my natural wake up time. Uh huh. No. Like if you went to bed at a at a at eleven p.m. Okay, which has not happened in a a few decades. Got it. I mean, without COVID, let's say without being sick, you went to bed at eleven p.m. Okay, and was a were able to fall asleep immediately. Let's let's say that. <laughs> It's a lot of what ifs here, girl. A what, lot of what ifs what that don't normally what happen. What time do you think you would wake up? Normally, if I am allowed, if my body is allowed to just sleep, my natural body time is 10 hours. Okay, good for you. Like, like almost on the dot, like 10 hours. So I'll you'd be up by. at nine. Right. Yeah. But I'd have to go to bed at 11. And fall asleep immediately at eleven immediately without any kind of drugs without any kind of drugs and <laughs> like yeah it it, irrita it irritates my husband I'm able to just go sleep immediately like I can fall asleep it doesn't irritate me I'm just I mean it's a thing you accept yeah. you know like what irritates me is like when you're with people who don't accept that about you because i'm like I, guess, I don't say anything of, i don't say anything to you about wanting to go to bed so early like no, i'm not even approaching sleepy and so your irritate's not the right word right like uh, it, it frustrate it could be better because you see that and you're like well i wish i could do that sometimes but i don't yeah. i don't care i love i've never minded that my body clock is a little bit off what time do you have never. to be at work my first meeting starts usually at like nine thirty. Okay. So it's like so I naturally start getting kind of tired, maybe at twelve thirty one, and if I don't do anything to stimulate myself, like I can go to sleep around two, and just go straight to sleep. Like, yeah, you know. But it's like there's a lot of like I have to suppress the things that my body naturally wants to do still because. I'm trying to make it turn down. For what? Bed. <laughs> you didn't even. I'm surprised you didn't come back and sing it at me. Nope. <laughs> nope. I hate that song. <laughs> I hate that song. Seriously. Uh, well, Mary Jo and Carlene decide to go to the Colonels to get some chicken. Amen. Mm hmm. Well, Joy is here, and she's like, and Anthony's like, well, come on in. And she's like, no. He's like, well, I'm not naked. I'm wearing swim pants. What? What, Anthony? Why are you wearing swim? Whatever. Whatever. Very Japanese anime of him. Um, and well, I mean, I he just did it because of Allison coming in and out of there, I'm sure. Yeah. Joy is like, look, 
I don't care. Either fix this in a civilized manner or kill each other, just so long as I don't have to hear it again. And Allison was like, how was your date with the gay man? How was your date with the gay man? <laughs> and he's like, well, he, he made out with me. And she's like, oh, he must be bi. Um, to which... Which, Joy, which he, could be true. It could be true. It could No, no bi erasure here. No. Except I wish they would make up their minds. Um, look, dear listeners, I'm technically a bisexual. Technically. Not a, not a bisexual. A man. bisexual. Because... Te technically i can i have in the past and pro potentially could in the future get a little jiggy with a female na 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 two different nas there honey but what up is little nas x i don't know what that joke even was not good not, not good he. not good huh not as he Oh, the joke? I thought you were going to say Lil Nas X wasn't good. I was like, you don't like Lil Nas X? I love Lil Nas X. He's fun. Okay. I apparently hit a note. I'm sorry. I got, I've got. i burnt out from my karaoke Nas X, so. It's still a very popular karaoke performer. So I, I have I have a controversial brave opinion. Okay. Um. So you know that song, the weekend song that was all over TikTok and everything a, a couple years ago? Mm. Ah, yeah. ha, ha for another day. Oh Ooh. yeah. I know it when you sing it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's like his only song. Um it's his only You know he's like the number one listened to person on Spotify still. Yeah, because of that song. <laughs> Not no. People oh. who really like his albums, like he's like their global number one on hold Spotify. On, he's on, been that on. way for a long time. Let's let's go to now. Now you got me looking something up. Now you got me looking something up. <laughs> Spotify. I'm opening up my Spotify. Spotify. The weekend. The weekend. There he is. Sorry. The weekend. Um. Let's see here. Songs. How do I do this? Brian? No, don't play it. Where's 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 their listens? Um, there's Starboy. There's Blinding Light. There's Die for You. Okay, so yes, yeah, so good gracious, Starboy. Star I mean, Blinding Lights has four billion. Yeah, he's the he's still their number. He's the first first in the world number one listened to on spotify global yes i and what i what i'm saying is that song which starboy has three billion i do love the song starboy huh i like the weekend i do actually like him so i i just i, I was going to say that song slaps all that say that song let's keep going with what we're going on i don't know what's happening some of his uh, music really kind of gives me a little bit of old school like 90s trip hop vibes like not exactly, but just that same kind of. So energy. Julia admits that she wasn't ready to date. Uh, oh, Julia. And a Anthony's like, Julia, you can't rush it because you know, there was a one time that I went a long time without being in love, and she he, she was like, Well, when was that? And he's like, When I was incarcerated. Like he they don't call it love in there, honey. Like he didn't with T. Tommy anyway. And he did. So it's later on at Mark's. <laughs> he has quote unquote straightened up the place. Like he's put titty women everywhere. And he's like, I kind of loved it. I did too. He He's in a bust up shirt. And Julia's like that. They talk for a second and she apologizes. And she's like, I don't know if I can see you again as anything more than friends. And he said, well, he just wants to do one more really straight guy thing. And he kisses yeah. her and she's oh. like, Oh, well, maybe really close friends. Do, 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 do. No labels, Julia. Do, 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 do. do we honey? Do, 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 Hey, babe. Yeah. Did you find yourself a Miss Georgia Wild? 
I actually really, I mean, it's not, it's kind of tacky, but I also kind of loved it. That pink dress that Julia was wearing or the pink suit that she was wearing. I did like it. Mine is one Mr. Anthony Bouvier with the cigar in the hot tub. Girl, he's showing nipple. I mean, he was showing nipple. That's Girl, true. a black man showing nipple on a white woman comedy in the 1990s deserves the Miss Georgia world. The it's scandal. scandal. Girl, man. did you did you like this episode? It was fine. It was cute. I mean, like was it's it? kind of getting back. I thought so. It's just getting back into his rhythm again of awkwardness. So if it didn't I have Allison, say, I'd probably enjoyed it. Yeah. Like I'm kind of looking at the episodes like that now. Like if we took the Allison part out, would this be a funny episode? Yeah. Um now I will say it was <laughs> interesting that Julia. And uh, what's her name? The writer, Linda Loveworth Thompson, uh -huh. um, simultaneously uh, brought up metrosexuality and friends with benefits in one episode, honey. They invented those things. <laughs> well, maybe why don't you tell our dear listeners where they can find you? Yeah, let's do it. Um, well, yes, that's to... what we do at the end of every episode. Sorry. No, I know it wasn't that. I just had a moment of like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> It's a very different week now, isn't it? Um, hey, everybody. It's me. It's me, every favorite relation. You can find me uh, hosting karaoke all around South Beach. Uh, Mondays at The Gathering. Thursdays at Kill Your Idol. Uh, and you can follow anything else I may end up doing uh, by going to uh, I'm your auntie Mame dot com. Over to you, Mim. Hey, I'm the Brown Swims. You find me online at the Brown Swims dot com. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Did you know we have another podcast? What? That's right. It's called You Slay Me. It's our Mercy Rip podcast. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Did you know that we have a Patreon? Whoops, I've gone backwards. Yes. That's right. I get patreon.com. Mims of Mame. You can throw some money at Mame. Yes. Did you know that we have merchandise? That's what? right. You go to Mims of Mame .com and buy something. Hey, Mame, do you know what I love? Five star reviews. That's right. I love them. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Did you know that our dear listeners can reach out to us? What? That's right. They can send us an email at mimsamame at jamel.com. Hey, Mame. Yeah. Do you have anything else to add? Nope. Then watch. Say goodnight, Mame. Goodnight, Mame. Bye, y'all.